Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of unit fractions and shapes. This is standard 3.6e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16 of the 2024 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, Calvin is drawing two congruent figures. That word is going to be very important for us. And he shades an equal area of each figure. All right, so you notice our answers here, A, B, C, and D, all have two figures. And which figures could be Calvin's? Well, there's two clues. They have to be congruent, and he needs to shade an equal area of each figure. All right, so what does congruent mean? If we look at our reference materials, you're not going to see that definition on there. So this is a word you're going to need to know going into the STAR test. So congruent, easy way to think about it would be same size and then same shape. So really, you're just drawing a mirror copy. You're copying and pasting the same figure twice or the same shape twice and so we can automatically eliminate two answer choices because we have two answer choices that are not congruent look at a a is two different circles these are what we actually call we don't learn this in third grade but you will learn this when you get older in middle school they're similar right so similar shapes are shapes that are the same shape, but they're not the same size. One of them is larger or smaller than the other. So it's like you zoomed in or you zoomed out. So these are not congruent because this second circle is much larger than the first circle. So we're going to go ahead and just eliminate A from looking at possible answers because they're not congruent. They're only similar. Look at B. B is just not anything. If you notice on B here, we're missing two of these little triangles. So it's not even the same shape. They are at least the beginning of the same size, but they're not the same shape. Uh, it's B is missing this right here. So we can't even consider B. All right, so if we know what the word congruent means, we've already eliminated A. We've already eliminated B has to be the same size and same shape. C is congruent. We've got two squares. D is congruent. We have two triangles. Now, let's look at our second clue. Our second clue says we need an equal area. All right, so equal area. Shading, so fractions, right? So the shading is going to be the fraction. So let's look at how we create our fractions here. And let's do this. Our numerator is going to be the shaded portion. And then our denominator is going to be the total number of pieces. And so let's just write a fraction for each of these. Okay, so C, the first square, I see one piece shaded out of one, two, three, four total pieces. So that looks like one fourth. And we know that it's a fraction. One fourth because each piece is also the same size. The second one, they do diagonal lines rather than these vertical lines here. I've got one portion shaded out of. It's interesting. I've got four pieces. Looks like the same fraction, but they're the one part is slightly different. Let's look at D real quick. I've got one, two, three pieces shaded out of four total. Now, at least D keeps the same triangles, but look, they're shading a different amount. So it's not gonna be D either. Now, how can C be correct? Well, it, you can have one fourth of a square. If the squares are the same way, they don't have to be cut the exact same way. This is one out of four equal pieces. This is also one out of four equal pieces. If you wanted to, you could actually draw it like this. You can draw four vertical pieces, you can actually draw it like this as well. You could go like this and go like this. They're all fourths, so my answer here is C.